Hey, badass business owners, are you looking for a quick way to check your prices? Because if you're not priced right, you could be bleeding lots of profits, and we definitely do not want that. So if you want to learn a quick, fast way to check your prices, then hang on tight. Now, I know there's a lot of complicated ways for you to be able to dive in and check your prices, but there has to be an easy way. Well, the good news is there is, and I am going to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing we have to do is lay some groundwork. So the first thing we have to remember is the number one calculation that I teach you that you need to know, and that is sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profits. I preach this all the time. It's not only on your profit and loss statement, but it is the basis for which you do your pricing. And it doesn't matter if you have a service-based business or a product-based business, it's going to be the same thing. And you can use this quick pricing thing either way. Remember, for every dollar you take into your business, it gets split out. First, you're going to pay your cost of goods, then you're going to pay your expenses, then you're going to end up with your profits. And just like I said, for every dollar in, it all goes out. Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. Now, if you remember, I also said that it works on your P&L. Remember, you got sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profits. But here's what we're going to do. You know the calculation. So let's go over here. And what we care about is we want these percentages right over here, because it's where these percentages get used that help you figure out if your pricing is done correctly. Let me show you how. Once again, number one calculation, sales. Sales are always 100%. Every single dollar that comes into your business, your top line will always be 100%. But your cost of goods is going to be a percentage of that 100%. So in this particular case on this P&L, it's 45%. The expenses were running 25% for a healthy profit of 30%. You want to plug in these numbers for yours based off of your profit and loss. And if your profits are low, like say 0, 10%, and you want them to be higher, great. As long as these three numbers add up to 100%, you can say, hey, I want to try to get my cost of goods down 5%. This way I can raise my profits 5%. But whatever that number is and what your goal is, make sure those are the numbers that you use. Because what we care about is on your cost of goods line. Now, Let's do a couple of examples, shall we? Let's say you have a cleaning business and you are doing a bid on a house. You know that your materials are going to run you about $10. You're going to have four labor hours at $20, which means you're going to have about $80 in labor wages, which means your total cost of goods are going to be about $90. Now, here's where those percentages come in. What is the cost of goods percentage? In our particular case, it was 45%, which also is 0.45. You can use either one of those numbers. I find it easier to use the 0.45 personally, but you're going to take the $90 and you're going to divide it by the 45% or 0.45. And guess what? That's going to tell you that in order to hit your profit goal, your price needs to be at least $200. If your price below that, you're going to miss your profit goal. And if it's above that you're just going to be able to add more profit to your business. Now let's take a look at another example, shall we? Let's say you've got a dog grooming business. Same thing. Materials are going to be $5. You have one labor hour, which comes to a total cost of goods of $25. We're going to look at our cost of goods. And in this particular case, your goal is 40% or 0 0.40. We're going to take the $25, divide it by the 0 0.40. And it's going to tell us that at minimum, you need to be priced at $62.50 in order to hit your profit goal. In which case, once again, if you're below that, you're going to miss your profit goal. If you're above that, you're going to hit it. Now, one more time, let's look at a product this time. Let's say the materials come to $15. The labor hour is a half hour to make this product, which means at $15, that labor hour, half hour of it would be $7.50 for a total cost of goods of $22.50. If our cost of goods is supposed to run about 60% in this particular product-based business, then we take the $22.50 divided by the .60, and we're going to come up with a price for this product at $37.50. You'll notice how easy this is on all three of them. All we're doing is we're taking our cost of goods dollars and divide it by the percentage that we are trying to target in order to hit our profit goal. And when we do, it comes up with the minimum pricing that we need to have. How easy is that? Let's take a look at the steps one more time. Step one, add up all your cost of goods. Step two, what is the target cost of goods percentage? Step three, divide the cost of goods by that target percentage, and that's going to give you a price. Compare that to your current pricing. Is it right on target? Is it lower? Is it higher? That's going to tell you if you're going to hit your profit goal. 
Now it's your turn. I want you to go out and I want you to do this quick exercise on all of your products and services and find out if you are priced correctly or not. It's really simple, easy to know. Make sure you learn your business numbers. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're always going to be going over your business numbers to help make this easier for you. And if you want to learn more about your profit and loss statement, check out this particular video. And if you want to learn more about your pricing, check out these two videos. And don't forget to hit that like button so people know they should watch this video to learn how to do this and hit subscribe so you never miss any of of these videos. With that, I will talk to you on the next video. Bye for now.